Hello and welcome to the channel. Nigeria has been advised to desist from the habit of continuous borrowing as a result of its adverse effect on the country's economy. More than half of Nigeria's revenue will be used in servicing its already piling debts. How's that for context? Subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you. Steer clear of more borrowing. DMO cautions federal government. The Debt Management Office, DMO, has warned the federal government against additional borrowing, saying 73.5% of revenue generated this year will be used to service debts. According to the DMO, the projected FGN debt service to revenue ratio of 73.5% for 2023 is high and cannot support higher levels of borrowing and is also a threat to debt sustainability. Consequently, the DMO advised the federal government to focus on increasing revenue generation, stressing that attaining a sustainable debt service to revenue ratio will require increasing FGN revenue from 10.49 trillion naira projected in 2023 budget to about 15.5 trillion naira. It gave this warning as part of recommendations to the federal government following analysis of the nation's debt profile in 2022. According to the DMO in the report of the annual National Market Access Country MAC debt sustainability analysis, the analysis of the results of 2022 MAC DSA shows that the total public debt to GDP ratio is projected to increase to 37.1% in 2023, relative to 23.4% as at September 2022, due to the inclusion of the 8.80 trillion naira new borrowings for the year 2023. The FGN ways and means at the CBN of over 23 trillion naira and estimated promissory notes issuance of 2.87 trillion naira in the debt stock. Baseline scenario, the country's debt stock remains sustainable under these criteria, but the borrowing space has been reduced when compared to Nigeria's self-imposed debt limit of 40% set in the MTDs 2020-2023. to On the other hand, FGN debt service to revenue ratio at 73.5% in 2023 exceeds the recommended threshold of 50% due to low revenue, which means that there is need to significantly increase government revenue. Under the alternative scenario, the total public debt to GDP ratio at 45.4% in 2023 exceeds Nigeria's self imposed debt limit of 40% while the FGN debt service to revenue also exceeds the recommended threshold of 50%. Based on the analysis of the results of the 2022 MACDSA, the DMO recommends the following. Although the baseline analysis projects total public debt to GDP ratio at 37.1% for 2023, indicating a borrowing space of 2.9%, equivalent of about 14.66 trillion naira when, co when compared to the self-imposed limit of 40 percent it is recommended that this should not be used as a basis for higher level of borrowing as was the case in the 2023 budget this is because the outcome of the shock scenario which is more realistic in the circumstances exceeded the self-imposed limit the projected FGN debt service to revenue ratio at 73.5% for 2023 is high and a threat to debt sustainability. It means that the revenue profile cannot support higher levels of borrowing. Attaining a sustainable FGN debt service to revenue ratio will require an increase of FGN revenue from 10.49 trillion naira projected in 2023 budget to about 15.5 trillion naira. With respect to expansion in fiscal deficits, there is need to strictly adhere to the provision of extant legislations on government borrowing, especially the Fiscal Responsibility Act 2007 and Central Bank of Nigeria Act 2007 as it relates to ways and means advances in order to moderate the growth rate of public debt. 
The resurgent needs to pay more attention to revenue generation by implementing far-reaching revenue mobilization initiatives and reforms, including the strategic revenue growth initiatives on all its pillars with a view to raising the country's tax revenue to GDP ratio from about 7%, one of the lowest in the world, to that of its peer. Government should encourage the private sector fund infrastructure projects through the public-private partnership, PPP, schemes and take-out capital projects in the budgets that are being funded from borrowing, thereby reducing budget deficit and borrowing. Government can reduce borrowing through privatization and or sale of government assets. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Reacting to the warning yesterday, Head of Equity Research at FBN Quest Securities Limited, Tunde Abidoye, counseled the federal government to conform to the recommendations of the DMO as the country was in a very precarious situation with regard to the debt service to revenue ratio of the government. He said, the recommendations of the DMO are the right things to do because when we look at things from a debt service to revenue ratio, the country is actually in a very precarious situation. Some estimates of debt service to revenue might even tell you it is even higher than that, and debt to GDP has never been a good measure. If we take the US, for instance, the debt to GDP is around 100%, but when you look at their debt service to revenue, it is very low. It is like the opposite of Nigeria, so they really don't have so much worry. So the DMO has given the right recommendations, and it is now for the fiscal and monetary authorities to conform, especially when it comes to things like ways and means, where with what we saw in the last administration, there was unrestricted access to printing money and all that. I think all those limits have to be adhered to and implement some discipline, so I hope the federal government listens to the DMO. David Adonri, Vice Chairman High Cap Security, said, This caution from DMO against further borrowing by FGN is belated because excessive borrowing by previous administration has already damaged the financial economy of the country. However, it is better late than never. FGN is already choking under the weight of current debt liability. Arden Moore is akin to signing one's debt warrant. I hope FGN will listen to this wise counsel because a word they say is enough for the wise. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.